I'm gonna be that girl, but Ariana Grande, I can't support, like, any future albums. I think, ugh, I see so many people that have, like, so quickly looked past her actions with, like, just the cheating and that stuff, and isn't it funny how we as a society have a really hard time not listening to serial abusers like Chris Brown, Kodak Black, like they're embedded in hip hop culture. If you like Kendrick Lamar, you're going to end up listening to some abuser. Almost all of these men have cheating scandals. Think about future. Think about the things that they're talking about. But we really rarely bring up the moral wrongings of like future or even like a Travis Scott at this point. But if a woman has allegedly cheated, death to her. I just don't know if I agree with the moral standards for women in entertainment, because if you think about how we consume male content, we're not like thinking, oh, I really agree with Future's lifestyle and I approve of his choices. And that's why I'm bopping my head to this. But when it's a woman, it's like, well, I just, I know that I should be blaming him too. And I'm saying, I'm not condoning the behavior at all. I want to make that so clear. I just can't help but see the glaring double standards, even in, I couldn't in good conscience do that if I were to go through my library and look at all the men that I end up listening to because I enjoy music. I enjoy music. And so I'm going to have to end up listening to a lot of times, a lot of even misogynistic lyrics, not to mention what these men are doing in their actual lives. But we we let it slide because honestly, we we as consumers of the culture really barely have a choice. Uh, you could talk about even Migos. We can talk about Offset. There's there's so many things that we talk about like as a culture, but we don't we don't say, oh, we're gonna stop listening to Future now because he's a serial cheater. I don't know that anyone has ever said that. Do you know what I'm saying? We laugh at him along with Sierra. We go, ha, 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 ha. He, I, he, I don't think he raised that kid. Russell Wilson raised that kid. Ha, ha, ha. But we don't go, you know, I don't agree with the moral stand. And I don't think I can. Uh, and it just makes me giggle because I, I, I am not saying like this person is wrong for obviously they can support whoever they want or they cannot support whoever they want. I just think as a society, the fact that it's such in the conversation, her alleged infidelity as a reason why you want to like boycott Ariana Grande. And that's totally fine, though. Like you're totally allowed to do that. But I also can't help but laugh like seeing as a culture how hard it is for anyone to stop listening to Chris Brown. For anybody to stop listening to a lot of men who have done way worse things and unalived people and that they don't get any of these videos coming up. Well, I don't know if I should be listening to them because you don't you don't look for that from them. And it's like, I don't know, it's just women always have to like be really, really squeaky clean for nobody to say, well, they don't deserve the support. And it's like they might not deserve the support, but they just never get to misbehave in the same ways that men get away with and get to continue being completely successful and nobody really tries to undermine their talent or their career or question if they should be allowed to be received still and like i just i'm not really interested in ariana grande's ethics i really don't i mean unt until it gets to the point of like red rum red rum like Sorry, it's 21 Savage. His album came out, and I've been listening to Red Rum. That's why. That's Murder Backwards. Anyway, um, I just, I think there's, like, such a threshold of, like, when we're talking about women's failings, and we talk about it like it's equal to, like, what's really going on that, like, men in entertainment do all the time and nobody really talks about, and then we, like, act like those are the same weight because we really, really expect so much from women. Even as women, we really, really expect, or, and I don't know if it's a lot to ask to like not be a man stealer, but like, ugh, I can't in good conscience act like the any of the male artists that I listen to do better than that. And I have to be honest with myself and know that and know what my expectations are for them 
and then take a look at what my expectations are for the women that I I listen to whatever art they're making I don't know it's just interesting I'm not saying at all like that this person is wrong like you're allowed to support or not support whoever you want but you know I see a lot of people talking about Ariana new Ariana's new song in that way and you're allowed like you're allowed to I just think it's interesting what the standard that we hold women to